So I just solved a major problem for all service-based businesses around the world. And with this, they can get an AI caller which automatically books leads and clients for them in a simple three-step process on a mobile app. Let me show you how that works. So let me show you by signing up as a new user. So I'm going to name myself as test77. Email address is company name is test77 as well. And my password is this. And our account should be created. Bam. So we have the account created. Now we'll create an assistant. And I can say my assistant's name as Nia77. And we create an assistant. And bam, the assistant is also created. Now the last step is to activate a new AI phone number. And here the user can just enter an area code for which he wants to purchase the new AI phone number. And here he can enter his own phone number. So I'll just enter like this and we'll purchase a phone number and that's it we have the dashboard and that is the quickest onboarding i have ever seen on any app right so we have our assistant right here which is pre-configured with everything the name is right here this is the id is right here and we can also preview how the agent sounds like thank you for calling clear Path solutions i'm alex your virtual assistant um, let me quickly check your account. And this is the first message. And this is my system prompt, which the user can also edit. Because I'm targeting a particular use case, I have pre-configured this system message. And here, the calls will come. And here, all the profile is also there, right? So it will take a while to activate the phone number. About two minutes is what it takes. But then you can see on the top right, the number is already there. And within that three-step onboarding, the user now has a new phone number that he can distribute anywhere and that's going to take care for all the calls of their business 24-7. Isn't that cool? And now after the number is activated, I'm going to make a test call on this number. And I don't need my phone. I can be doing anything. And the calls will happen in the background. And whatever happens on those calls would be published inside my call details section. And I'll show you how in a while.